do, I'll just find your right shades of okay. everything. Perfect. So your skin is good. I do want your freckles to like show a little bit too because when you have freckles, if you're doing a full cover, then it's really, you need a, you need a lot of makeup. Yeah. It looks less natural too. Mm -hmm. So I do want them to show a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with the magic tint. Love it. And uh, I'll explain to you how I find your shade too. So okay. then it's just little educational tips that you know. But I'll do it while I'm doing the application. Perfect. So looking at your skin, you're a little bit more on the, you know, you can probably get tan easily. Um, so I'm gonna go with colors that either are natural or a little bit warmer. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the light because I know this color, how it is. I'm gonna also take out soft medium. And I always select three colors. Mm -hmm. One that I might think is the right color, one that's a bit darker, and one that's a bit lighter because I wanna match it with the rest of your body. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm gonna start on, uh, this is the light color. This is my light medium. These ones are like pretty much a, a light coverage. Mm -hmm. So it's okay if I am a little bit darker, if I want more like a bronzy look. Um, or you can go a little bit lighter going into winter, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. This one obviously is gonna be too dark, so I don't think I'm even gonna try it, but it just gives you like a good idea. Yeah, that one's gonna be way too dark. So I have a warmer undertone, like yes. natural to warm? Yeah, neutral to, yeah, neutral okay. to warm. When you look at your veins, they are pretty like green, but you have a little bit like right here, they're blue. Yeah. That's when you have a mix of those two, you're pretty much neutral. Okay. Like that means, Pretty much anything fits you. Nice. You can wear gold, you can wear silver, uh, you can wear cold colors, warm colors. They always fit you. That's That means you're neutral. Okay. Um, awesome. So if you want a little bit more of a bronzy effect, you can go a little bit in the golden undertone, but I just don't want something like orange. Yeah. <laughs> you know, looking. Yeah. Or yellow looking. Some people, their natural skin is like that, but that's why I'm going to go with the light first. So, with uh, this one, this would be shade matching, right? Yep. So I'm just gonna try out the light on your jaw area. So we have one shade. I'm gonna put another color right next to it. Right and what we wanna see, obviously I'm making them like pretty intense, <laughs> but when I look into the mirror, I want to look at the ones that's the most seamless. I feel like it's this one. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit too dark. Another way when they're very similar, just lightly blend one side. And then if you see, okay, I'm blending a little bit one side. I don't even see it anymore into my neck. That's the right shade. Versus this side, it's leaving a demarcation. Mm -hmm. So. I would say this this shade could be like you going into summer. Mm -hmm. If you know you're gonna get a bit darker, this shade I would recommend it now because we're going into winter. So when I look at it, this one it blends perfectly into all the areas. It blends well with your neck, with your chest. Uh, you do see a bit of demarcation here, but the point is that I'm gonna blend it down your neck. Mm. This one, I see it, like it's very blunt. Yeah. So it's like, ah, no. I know if I go a shade lighter, we could test it, but it's gonna be too light on yeah. you. So that's why I'm not even that's gonna right. try that. That's so funny, because I've always used this one. The darker one? Yeah, that's what I have at home. But the darker one, right now, especially during the summer, I think it's perfect. Wait, mm. just because we're going winter. into winter, we can always use a bronzer to warm it up. Yeah. Because it's much easier to fix a lighter foundation than mm -hmm. a foundation that's too dark, because then you need to apply so much concealer yeah. and that's to true. make yeah. it lighter. I'm yeah. also light, so. but I'm very bronzed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want Cheating, to apply cheating bronze. This product, you can apply it with obviously a brush or a sponge. Mm -hmm. The best, best one, I would say, is to apply it with your hands. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds weird, but um, it really warms up the product and it looks like a second skin. 
it just it's one of those products that especially with, with you know when you have larger pores or anything like that it just makes it everything smooth and perfect mm -hmm. so um good, good option let me just keep this this is like a full makeover like at home like use one foundation mm -hmm. i have all the shades so i'm going to use this all over but i'm actually going to dip into this one just around the cheek area instead of just like adding more bronzers and things like that so i can play a little bit more may i ask what is the purpose of this brush i got that as a set with what you sent to me yeah i don't know what that brush is for this one yeah so it's, it's a pointy tip one right it's well like show her the love in paris ones the ones that yeah, you actually like, got oh, these yeah. ones yeah um the i never follow what they mean i go with this shape okay so this is really great for the cheek okay you could use it because of the angle so you could do your bronzer mm -hmm. it helps to contour um, you can also use like your highlight if you want. So your highlight, you would put it more at an angle, like you follow the curve of your cheek. Uh, you can use it also for a powder, like okay. just to kind of dab any powders. But I would say it's mainly for the cheeks, okay. like blush, bronzer, highlight, things like that. Um, I like using, I always use the same brushes, honestly. Like one that's the, the fluffier they look, like the looser they are, the less like intense they're gonna be okay so the more natural they're gonna look okay um so i like brushes like that the more dense like things like that um when they're super dense you get a lot of coverage so i rather just build it up do it more natural and soft makes so. sense but let me just put a bit of a primer before i'm gonna use this one because we are a dry skin mm -hmm. this one helps with your hydration is it fresh it's the fresh one love 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 that one i haven't tried that i'm one. obsessed with this it. one is good for like giving you volume like someone more of a mature skin okay. uh they have fine lines wrinkles and things like that okay. uh it helps attract light okay this one it just gives you like a natural glow and it helps last hydration after your skincare okay. so that's why for you i'm choosing this tinted moisturizer again you have your hydration so i'm going with everything that's going to help last your hydration Okay. Because dry skin, it's like kind of one of those tricky um, skin types because a little bit of powder can make everything like dry and cakey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you really want to be careful with that. Let me just apply your primer. And I'm going to focus more on the areas where the products might move. We want more of a glow. On the T zone, cheek and chin. So I'm gonna start more on your, the center of the face. So oftentimes that's where we have a little bit more redness. Like I said, you do have a really nice skin. So the whole point of the foundation is just to neutralize and even out your skin. For areas that I want a little bit more coverage, you can go with a concealer and just apply it. What I'll do is that I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a dense brush and I'm basically baking the, um, the foundation. Mm -hmm. So I'm dabbing it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it be. The longer you let it be, the like thicker the product is gonna get and the more coverage you'll get. Oh, okay, okay. So those are like good tips to have. Okay. While I do that, I'm gonna start doing your eyes. Sure. Just prepping it. I am gonna ask Gally because she wanted the foundation. I'm gonna do your concealer after I've done your eyes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll just scooch <laughs> down. I'm just gonna. Okay, wait. Blend the baking. So. You feel it, I'm really dabbing on top of it and I'm lightly blending the edges. Oh, so you never actually touch the actual spot itself? No. When I do touch it, I dab mm -hmm. because if you start dragging it, you're removing all the coverage you <laughs> yeah. just done. Okay, this I need to know. Are you okay. more of a bronzy person or are you more of a blush person? I'm more of a blush person. Okay. Yes, that's yes. amazing. I'm gonna use the same brush. You can use like 
this brush too. Okay. You can apply it directly. Mm -hmm. Me, I, um, at home, you just apply and just use your finger yeah. to blend it. But this is interesting because I was always wondering where is the proper blush placement for my face? Okay, so you can smile. You're gonna put it really on the center of the cheek, mm -hmm. right here. And for you, because you have more of a round, square face, so you wanna oh. give it more length. Okay. Because the forehead is a little bit more narrow, the chin's a little bit more narrow. So by giving it more length, mm -hmm. um, you would actually blend it straight. Oh! Yeah. When you want more roundness, more like a, a larger effect, uh -huh. you would do either a circle, the circle fits well to like everybody, or you could do more of a triangle, like keeping it like kind of tight on the apple of the cheeks. Uh -huh. Well, for you, because we want more length, we're gonna just lightly blend it towards the ears, basically. Instead of blending it like, like in a curve like this, yeah. I'm just doing center of the cheek. And just keep applying it straight. Oh. And the writing is actually a lot more subtle than I thought it would be. It's very like, subtle. Yeah, because I, I bought the Floet. I think that's yeah, I love that one. But I was I was thinking of another one because I'm almost out. <laughs> okay, we love that one. Then. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I just feel like, yeah, I got Sorry. you. Um, you can build it up. Yeah. Any products in creams and liquids, just keep building them. Like right now in person, it looks very subtle. Mm -hmm. But when you do things on camera, you wanna go a little bit more intense because they yeah. won't see it. So because we're taking pictures today, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So smile again, it's the perfect position. And then if you would want more of a sun kiss effect, you can put a little bit on the nose. Okay. So this is optional, but I like, this is more like luxe. I don't know what came. The sun kiss is more like casual, yeah. I feel. I want that highlight. I want it to look so dewy that people are like, what did you do to your skin? It looks so well hydrated. I want everything that you're telling me. This is very, Delilah. yes. Nice. They have two colors, I think. The other one's more pink. Yeah. Smile. We're just gonna put it on top of the cheekbones. And I don't want the highlight to be like in person and people are like, I see your highlight yeah. and all. That's too much. Mm -hmm. I really want it to just, when you move your face, yeah, it, just it just looks like you just put a moisturizer. Yeah. But you have a moisturizer all day. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yay, okay. Skin wise, it's good. we're good. All right. Okay, face is done, let's do the eyes. The best key is gonna be your... Whoa! <laughs> it's gonna be, bam, breaks everything. Your primer. Okay. Primer is gonna keep your whole eye makeup in place and intensify the pigments. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the one, I think it's um, Shimmer. Mm -hmm. The video one, right? Yes. yes because then I'm kind of skipping a step this way. I already get my glow and my highlight, so I don't have to worry about, you know, okay, I have to put an eyeshadow on top that has some sparkles in it. You can just intensify it with an eyeshadow, but when you're in a rush in the morning, you can just put that mm -hmm. mascara on your I do that all the time, and... just primer. Yeah. yeah, especially the shimmer ones. Yeah, so, exactly, it's so and funny. it stays all day. Mm -hmm. That's what's cool. So for the primers for the eyes, mm -hmm. if you're doing an, an under lot, like under shadow as well for under your eyes, would you put the primer there as well or do you tend to not touch that? You mean like if you already did your eyeshadow before? No, so if you're gonna plan on doing eyeshadow underneath, yeah. um, would you also apply some primer there? Underneath? The EC comes up. Oh, on, on the water, the, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I yeah. would not put, I, eye primer there. You might want to put a little bit more on the inner okay. eye here, but I wouldn't put all the way under the eye because it's more for the eyelid. Okay. Um, that area, like the product doesn't move that much. It doesn't crease as much. What will crease is more your concealer, mm. which you can put a powder on top of it. But the actual product, like close to the lash line, 
it shouldn't really move that much. Um, the corners, like I would say the maximum would be applied around here. Yeah. And the inner corner, but not the center. Okay. I would avoid that. Okay. Even the shimmery one, I would not put shimmer like under um, the lash line because then it looks weird. It's yeah. not really supposed to be there. Okay. So I would avoid that. Okay. So for this part, I just want you to look straight so I can create your crease um, with the eyeshadow. And I know where I'm doing my position. That's pretty honest, I've never done a crease before. It's creasing, it's one of those tricky things that, because you're so used to having your eye closed. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to Like, everybody has their natural crease, yeah. but it's not always there, or, you know, it's not at the proper position <laughs> that it's supposed to be. Yeah. The best way is just always to look straight, mm -hmm. and you just want to give a little bit of space so we can see the eyelid. So that way it gives a little bit more dimension mm -hmm. to the eye. It's so subtle, I love it. It's like this, I'll do a really soft liner. Your yeah, eyes pretty much gonna be done. Same thing on the other side. I start from the outside and I softly blend it in. I'm actually just gonna turn it And I'm not taking a dark color. It's one of those like medium colors. Which one do you It's this one. Okay, the one on top. Yeah. Okay. It is so subtle. I love it. It's super nice because again, we're going with a bold lip. I don't want yeah. your eyes to be like <laughs> like everything. Boom, boom, boom. Where is she and, going? Prom? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to the big apple next. <laughs> Just taking some of the shimmery colors and adding it to my primer. Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> oh. Yes! Whoa! It's so little product too. It's I'm telling you, like eyeshadow, it just it's playing with colors like light and shadow. Yeah. It's playing with you know, where do I want to tweak my crease? Where, what do I want to do with my lashes? Like right now, I know we want more length. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna also give a little bit more volume. So, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my um, new eye pencil. <laughs> new eye pencil! I know, this is the cream one, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit and I'm gonna blend it. Okay. So it gives you like a bit of that smokiness, but it's made for the day. So normally, if you wanted to do a smoky eye or a halo eye, yeah. would you start with the darker colors and then work light, or would you work light and then dark? I would do darks first and then go into lights. Okay. So the smoky, I would say do your base in pencil so it lasts longer. Oh. So do your pencil all over very roughly. Yeah. Blend and then put your eyeshadows okay. on top. Um, there's actually yeah. one on YouTube that shows how to do the halo and the smoky. Yes. It's all it's always the first technique I always do. It's more natural looks. I do my shadows first. I'm not my shadows. My highlights first. So then by highlighting the highlights, I know where the shadows are because they're popping by themselves mm -hmm. with the contrast. But when you want more of an intense look, I always start with the dark first and then I'll finish with the light. Okay. So we're just gonna close. I'm just pulling the lash line. And I'm just really roughly applying it. More on the outer edge. Oh, it looks weird like that. No, it's great. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend it. So then when I put my mascara, I don't really have that much to do because I already have a pretty, like, my dark lash line. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, my brush really does all the work. On the pencil, you have this measure. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no breathing no for a breathing. second. Yeah, I've tried to play with liquid liner. It's so hard. So hard. And especially with symmetry, because like eyes are not symmetric, like unless you're a model. Like just that little soft liner, it looks really great on camera because it makes your eyes pop. Because mm -hmm. the other look, like without the liner, it looks great. Maybe more in person, mm -hmm. but on camera, it would look like. We, you basically had no makeup on. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's just such a sunny, subtle smoke. Yeah, smoking is dead. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> and did you use blush, right? Blush. Black. Black. Yes. What well, I'm also gonna do is just down here, just a little bit, so the corners are nice and clean. That's the foundation. That's just the foundation. My leftover foundation. Um, concealer. I might put a little bit, but like very, very light. I'm gonna just quickly put the video on, the, on your lips, okay. and then I can always do like really that big bold lip. Well, this one is yes. Fireball. Nice. Yeah. I'm doing like a, a soft lip. Like it's still a bold color, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm making the edges not too sharp necessarily. You can do that as well. But I feel like it, it looks great um, to give you like almost that look. So this is all the skincare products. I love this color. Look do you recommend putting on lipstick like with a um, with a lip brush more so than just actual? Um, if you did a lip pencil first. You don't have to. But if you did like a lip like that with no lip pencil, no guidance, yes. Just because then you'll be more precise, especially the edges of the lips so you can have symmetry. Because if you just apply it like that, you're most likely going to have a crooked I will do a bit of a lip pencil, but just in some areas, just so I can decide where I want a little bit more symmetry, more dimension, because it's not exactly the same color. It's like a little bit darker. So I'm going to focus more on the center of the look. Okay. It's basically just a little bit right here. And right here as well, just so we have some definition on the cupid's bow. Oh, look at that. It's like just you have more of a contoured lip. Yeah. Yeah. So for you at home, now I did it things in reverse. You could do you could even do your lip pencil all over your lip. Put your lipstick okay. on top of it. I love the way this turned out. It's so gorgeous. Yes. Now uh, let's put some mascara. Because that is a look with no mascara. Right? That is so true. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it looks nice, but like let's you got it to the other look. It's like cake with no icing. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing is to curl your lashes. Lashes. So everything that I did for your looks, uh -huh. I'm gonna send it in your email as well. Amazing. Light. 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 Lightly. What color is that? The darkest. The darkest. Yeah. Another confession, yeah. I never do my brows because I have no idea what to do. They always look like angry caterpillars. <laughs> always. Um, I always start at the tail of okay. the brows because that's why you decide if you want it a lifting effect, a more straight effect. Like That's how you shape the frame of your eye, basically. Oh, okay. The higher it is, the more like, mm, hello. And then the straighter it is, um, the more like, like serious yeah. that you are. Um, so, I don't want to overly shape them. I'm really just giving a little bit more definition at the end. So I'm just taking my pencil okay. and I'm just doing little strokes like like as if I was recreating hair. Okay. That's all I'm doing. I'm starting at the top of like the part of your brow. 
right here. And I'm just creating that shape. If I want it rounder, if I want it um, more square, so that's gonna help me decide what kind of eye look that I want. Um, for you because it's more like a soft romantic. I'm gonna make it a little bit like softer, not fully round, but just give it a little curve. Okay. I don't want it pointy because that's more of a severe look. Maybe with the snow key, but this is like because it's more soft and romantic, then I want the brows to be soft. So little strokes. And here too. I'm starting at the base. I'm just creating like a small little line. Very lightly, I'm blending up. <laughs> now, I know it looks kind of intense. This is why this guy was created. You want to brush everything you've done so it softens it, the strokes that we just applied. So nobody can see what we've done. <laughs> it looks like you woke up like that. Nice. <laughs> Oh wow, it's very, very natural. We already have a beautiful shape. I'm just giving it more intensity at the at the end. Yeah, it's just like making it clearer. Yeah. See right here, you see how I see the skin through. Yeah. So I'm just right here at the arc. I'm creating my my angle that I want. It's like a softer. I want. Okay. Now that I created that. Just gonna blend into the hair, the tail. But here, this is for the thickness. Obviously, the the wider you do, the thicker they're gonna be. And then right here too, you wanna do a very very soft line. So you come and connect the bottom part of the arc. Upwards. So always the front is always blended upwards and as you go towards the end you start going horizontal. Yeah. Brush a lot. But everyone can have no strong And brows, the way I explain them is that they're supposed to be sisters, not so it's okay if they're not exactly the same. If you want them exactly the same, you're most likely gonna put more product, and it's just gonna give you like a heavier. Yeah. Which is okay. Some people like, you know, if you want to go more glam, more like, you know, that Instagram look. Yeah. Um, so that's not a problem, but I like going a little bit more in the natural. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> And then Gary wants to do a final yes. The slow-mo hey. like... Hey. You like it? I love it. I love it. Was, I it, love it. was it what you were expecting? Yeah, well I learned a bunch of new tips and tricks. And so I'll be really excited to test that out as well. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's filming right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Gally yeah. did some too. Yeah. So we can well, I'm not. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is me out, right? Well, you were, I don't think you were in it. Oh, if you move this way a little bit yeah, more. You're there he is. <laughs> That's Remy. He's amazing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. No, it was really amazing experience. I learned so much from that. Nice. So, what's the uh, skin models is what you were expecting for? This is what you were expecting for. Yes. Yeah, I learned a lot of new things actually. I learned that um, I could really change up my night temperature for so than anything. Uh, and using the oil is really going to help um, my skin. I was actually, I didn't realize how dry my skin was. So, that was so you were so done? Yeah, I lost, I lost some medication right now, which I really do feel it's making a difference in my skin texture. So to get a professional um, recommendation, it's been really, really, really helpful. Switch up the routine a little bit more and test out some new things and vlog you know, uh, my journey for that. Way to go, Roxanne. Thank you. No, it looks like a lot of study if you find the right machine for us. The machine's amazing. It's it's like disgustingly The pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. It's, it's eye opening. Mm -hmm. You see all your facial hairs and everything. Yeah. Like, oh my god. I still need to get one, right? Yeah, I know, you still haven't done it. Oh you haven't done yours yet? 
It'll be, it'll be really fun. Yeah. It'll be yeah. really, really fun. <laughs> Yeah. I showed any of your fish. I don't think I've ever had a fish. In what? It's actually really interesting, Rami, if you get it done here, or like or even just like a skincare routine for men who have facial hair. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That would be a really interesting viewpoint for a lot of customers and also to help us, you know, uh, create ideas for wives mm -hmm. to get skincare products for their husbands yeah. yeah. facial hair. Yeah, I feel a lot of people like they don't think. Oh, they're like, oh, okay, this is for women. women you know, it's yeah. like, it's beauty. I'm like, no, I skin is skin. Every yeah. single skin care. Yeah, skin Even is skin. Donor. Yeah, that's, that's, good. that's what you should get. Yeah. Thank you again! Thank you! So that's it guys! Thank you so much for joining us on today's vlog! I had an amazing time here at Studio 1886 and if you haven't yet, make sure you do follow Studio 1886 and Avon Canada on all the social medias. Everything's going to be down in the description box below. And if you're new here guys, make sure you do click the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week. You never want to miss one of those. Finally, if you're interested in becoming an Avon Beauty Boss, make sure you go to the link in the description box and then jump over to that Join Avon button. If you have any questions, reach out to me on either Instagram or Facebook and I'm here to help. Let's chat. Talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye!